and welcome to X-ray Review. This video is about the suprapatellar joint effusion, one of the most important radiographic findings to look for on the knee. So we're going to look at a bunch of examples and the importance of this joint effusion. Let's begin with frontal and lateral views of the knee. A joint effusion is swelling inside of the joint capsule. This is most commonly seen in the suprapatellar joint region in the knee, and that's best visualized on the lateral view. The three fat pads seen in the anterior knee are the suprapatellar, prefemoral, and infrapatellar fat pads. And the most important radiographically is the suprapatellar fat pad. And let's take one last look at the suprapatellar region in a normal knee as we move on to some abnormal examples. So this is a 63 year old female who fell on her knee and presented to the office with significant pain and swelling. And if you look in the suprapatellar recess, you'll notice a well-defined rounded homogeneous soft tissue density. So compare this to a normal knee and you'll agree that the suprapatellar joint effusion causes this area of increased density and it also obliterates the normally crisp posterior border of the quadriceps tendon. Sometimes the joint effusion can be so large, like in this case, that it actually displaces the quadriceps tendon and patella anteriorly. This is a nine-year-old female who fell off of a bunk bed onto her knee, and there's no need to zoom in. You should be able to notice a very large joint effusion above the patella and look at how dense it is above that patella. This is a 34 year old female who fell while playing basketball and again my rule of thumb anytime I have a knee x-ray I always go immediately to the lateral knee and look for a suprapatellar joint effusion. And when we zoom in we can clearly see there is a joint effusion present. So in this case, uh, MRI would be recommended to assess for any internal derangement of the knee. This is a 37 year old male with a history of multiple sports related injuries. And you'll notice a pretty classic suprapatellar joint effusion. And let's reiterate the importance of this effusion. If present, it means there's something significantly wrong with the knee. And that's why it's the first place to look. This is a 28 year old female who injured her knee playing basketball. And if you look closely, you'll notice a difference between the supra and infrapatellar joint regions. And this slightly homogeneous appearance to the suprapatellar joint recess is indicative of an effusion. One additional thing that may be present inside of a joint effusion is called a lipohemoarthrosis. And this is where there can be fat and blood inside of the suprapatellar recess. So you can actually see little bubbles of air or little pockets of fluid. And this is a more complicating factor and we'll need to move on to an orthosurgical consultation. And this patient has evidence of previous anterior cruciate ligament surgical repair. So again, this patient needs to go back and see uh, their orthopedic surgeon. Another helpful sign of a joint effusion is anterior displacement of the patella. And this is only seen in very large joint effusions like this one. Okay, so let's try a couple examples. Is there a suprapatellar joint effusion present? And no, there is not. This is a normal knee. Is there a suprapatellar joint effusion present? And yes, there is. You'll notice a very large homogeneous density in the suprapatellar region, and this is indicative of an effusion. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed that quick review. Remember, the first place you need to look on a lateral knee x-ray is 
the super patella region for this type of effusion. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And as always, any questions or comments, please put them below. Thanks again.